Now let's get back to one of our top stories today, and that is the down Ukrainian airliner in Iranian airspace. And I'm joined by retired U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel James Carafano from the Heritage Foundation. James, great to have you on the program tonight. Thank you, thank you. Uh, well, it looks like all indications are. You heard this from Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, that various intelligence sources say that it might have been inadvertently downed by an Iranian surface-to-air missile. Iran still denying it. Um, that makes perfect sense. Um, look, the smart or the, the appropriate move would have been during the strike if the Iranians had shut down their airspace and grounded the planes. I mean, they knew it wasn't a secret. The Americans knew about it. They notified the Iraqis an hour ahead of time. So they had plenty of time to ground planes or shut off airspace, and they didn't do that. If you look at the Iranian government structure, half the government doesn't talk to the other half of the government. So kind of no surprise that the guys that were running the civilian airspace may have been held in the, bar, in the, in the, in the dark about this and didn't know that this was even coming. And if you were a relative of the 176 on board and one of your family members was killed, despite the fact that you had missiles being launched into Iraq, yet planes were still allowed to take off, it makes no sense. It, it doesn't. And look, it, it, it probably was a very tragic thing. But let's be honest, the government is responsible. The United States inadvertently shot down an airline over South Korea. We were responsible. We took responsibility for that. We didn't mean to do it, but we did it. And in this case, the, the Iranian government is responsible. But the fact that they're denying it and obfuscating this, this just shows, again, how both reckless and feckless this regime really is. And what about the countries that have relatives and uh, nationals on board, like Canada, like Ukraine? How should they react? Well, I, I, I think they're going to be rightfully outraged, just like the downing of MH17, which is by the Russians. Again, maybe not intentional, but an incredible act of negligence and, and malfeasance. And even greater, I mean, there are, there, are, there are Iranians on board this plane. So this government killed their own innocents. Um, and look, that they've got a record of that. They've killed hundreds in, in suppressing protests over uh, the last couple of uh, months. But among the other things... This cannot make this government more popular. I mean, well, the fact that they did this is that's going to be just another log on the fire. What about the black boxes? Because you heard from Justin Trudeau today. I found it surprising that he said that the black boxes might be given access by to the Ukrainian government and Zelensky and possibly to Canada as well. Do you think that's going to happen since they're barring Boeing from taking a look at these black boxes and even the U.S.? Well, I mean, there are protocols on this. And, and in the protocol, the, the, both um, the, the Canadian government and the Ukrainian government are absolutely entitled to be part of the investigation to get access to the black boxes. But typically also the, 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 the manufacturer of the plane, in this case, Boeing, would be done that. So in a sense, Iran's already violated international norms. But my guess is, is if they share information with the Canadians or the Ukrainians, the, the, they're going to share it with us. Now, James, before I let you go, we're, we're just uh, tracking this vote on the floor of the House, the war powers resolution, which will force President Trump uh, to get House, I guess, approval before he launches any further military action against Iran. Non-binding, of course, but it has passed along party lines. Not surprising. It's a nothing burger. As as in our attempts to, I think, revise the authorization to use military force, there's such division in, in the Congress on this thing that, that it's not. And again, th this is all a joke. If the Congress of the United States does not want the United States doing military action, all they have to do is cut off funding. It's just that simple. It's in the Constitution. Okay. James, great to see you. Thank you so much.